Reggie here, and I am so excited to record this video today. I have waited a long time to record this for two reasons. First, I want to show you guys some books that I just received from CGC that I sent off months ago that just came back, and I only have two of them. The other thing is I want to show you a book that was on my want list. I was able to get this book through uh, a little bit of uh, uh, effort and uh, I want to show it to you guys today. So first up, I want to show you um, one of the, the books that I received back from CGC that I sent off. Um, we'll start with this one first. The first book is uh, to me a very popular book. Um, I don't think it's an expensive book, but I think it's a really cool book. This character, for some reason, even when I was younger, kind of captured my imagination. Um, and he's coming back around. I think he's going to be in some, possibly in some upcoming movies. Uh, certainly is, is more popular in some of the books that are out right now. Um, but it is uh, Adam Warlock, a.k.a. him. This is The Power of Warlock, Warlock number one uh, from... 72 uh, and this is it received a uh, 7.5 grade I actually secured this book and I think I think it was one through nine I want to say as part of an auction uh, the the price of it wasn't tremendously high um, but I was I considered myself lucky to get it uh, I think it actually came with two number ones um, and so I decided to send the better of the two off to be graded but this book actually is the origin of of Warlock, and I've actually watched a couple of videos on YouTube that actually talk about his his origin and and how and why he was created back in the day, and why he disappeared and why he came back, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I, I found that to be very interesting, but um, very nice, clean copy of uh, of Warlock number one. the uh, The second book that I want to show you is is one that I also secured. At an auction and, and this was actually part of my very first submission to CGC um, sent it off months ago just came back and I and since sending in that first submission I've actually learned a lot about the proper way to have book slabs and, and what I mean by that is um, I've learned that I need to spend more time actually looking at the books before sending them in to get a feel for it. does it make sense to slab the book um, the other thing that I've, I've learned is that um, depending upon um, the age and the condition of the book, it may pay to actually have that book uh, cleaned and pressed prior to having it graded. I honestly wish that I had done this with this book and even with the um, the Warlock book. Um, but, you know, maybe one day I'll, I'll crack it open, send it back to have it cleaned um, and pressed and then regraded and maybe it'll actually come in at a higher grade because in reading the graders notes they made notes of you know d dirt on the back cover so it's, it's easily something that could have been fixed um, there's a couple of indentations on the front cover that I don't know that I fully appreciated when I sent it in that could probably be addressed by a uh, by a press the book uh, is Avengers number 57 from uh, from 1968 and it received a 6.5. This book to me is just gorgeous. Um, I remember seeing this book and uh, one, so one red is my favorite color. I just found it to be a very striking color. The contrast between the red, uh, the reddish clouds and that black uh, background, the black cover. It, it spoke to me and so this is one that I was happy to pick up you can see that there's some creasing over here in this this left corner um, but that's essentially you know and maybe a little bit down in this this uh, this right corner but besides that it is a very very clean copy of uh, of a very old book but also one that I haven't seen um, all that often in high grades and maybe I'm just not looking in the right places but um, it's this back cover where you can actually see yeah, you can actually see had I just taken some time and had this thing cleaned, it would have made that back cover look a, a lot better. But it's just a gorgeous cover of Avengers number 57. So maybe one day, like I said, I'll crack it open and send it back in. So the next book is is one off of my want list. And I had kind of struggled with this book because of the price of it. Um, and one day I resolved that I was just going to get it. I was going to bite the bullet. I was going to 
pay the price. I was going to get this book and I was going to get a very nice copy of the book. So I sent a, uh, someone had an auction. I sent a, a bid price in on this thing or a buy it now price. And I walked away from my computer because I needed to do something for one of my kids. And I was doing that. And once I finished up, I was getting ready to leave the house. And I looked at my phone and it said, uh, the item is no longer available. And I was like, man, someone just got this book. And then I look at the very next email below. The guy had actually countered my offer by $100. I clearly did not see it. And he went with someone else who probably also made a similar offer. Uh, he accepted that one and countermined it for a hundred bucks. I would have honestly accepted it, but I missed it. And it was actually, I think I wanted to say it was a 7.5. So it was a really, really nice copy of a 7.5. And in fact, there was an eight that I was looking at and the 7.5 actually looked better than the eight, much cleaner copy. So uh, I'm actually headed out um, and I ended up having to, to catch a flight. Uh, so I was watching the kids and then I had to catch a flight. So I'm at the airport and I get a message uh, on Instagram from someone that I've been going back and forth with on Instagram, just another fellow collector. And he tags me and it's, he says, here you go. And I look at it and it was the exact, it wasn't the exact book, but it was, it was the same issue that I had just bid on like an hour before. So I look at I look at the book, I zoom in and it looks pretty good. So I send the guy a message and we, we start going back and forth. And at one point he stops responding and I'm like, oh man, maybe he, he just sold it, you know, during that, that exchange. Cause the book had only been posted up like 40 minutes by the time I found it. And so uh, he then responded to me, we were able to work out a deal. And as I was boarding my flight, I sent him the money via, via uh, friends and family. And upon returning from my trip, the book was waiting on me. And it is a lower grade than what I was bidding on before, but this book had a few things going for it that, it that the other didn't. Yes, it's a lower grade, but it was signed, and it was signed by Stan Lee. Uh, so that was a little hard to, uh, to walk away from. And, and I have a feeling I'm, I'm probably going to buy this book again at a higher grade, but this is actually my first CGC signature series book. And it is Stan, signed by Stan Lee and it is Incredible Hulk 181. That thing is gorgeous. And you can see the signature here. I wish he had signed in another color other than black, but you get what you get. Um, but you can actually see a little bit of some spotting up here on the top. And then there's some spotting down at the bottom. I think there are four total spots on this cover. But outside of the spotting, the book is in pretty darn good shape. And it is really a amazing copy of Incredible Hulk 181. I actually already have 180 um, and so I was very excited to get this book and this is in fact uh, as you guys know my one of my favorite characters in all of comic books that being Wolverine so definitely happy to have this definitely happy to have this signature by Stan Lee uh, and so I want to thank the the instagrammer that gave me the heads up about this book i want to thank the guy that um sold me this book i'm not going to give you either one of their names because both of them are huge assets to me and i want to keep those secrets to myself in fact uh the one guy has a couple of other books that i want to circle back and pick up from him. so maybe one day i will reveal him to you guys uh but to suffice it to say um both of those guys i am very thankful for so thank you guys for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it uh, stay tuned because I'm actually about to record another video for the books that I picked up at the local comic book shop a little bit earlier today. Take care.